right there we've got 15 pounds of uh, whole sardines from mypetcarnivore.com. These are uh, five three pound bags. These were a gift from uh, subscriber Joker James. Right here we got uh, Badge. From left to right we got Toki. The Jumping Maniac is Ryu. Kurgan. Toki. And uh, K Bar. This is going to be a pack feeding. When I do these, I like to have more food than I have dogs and do spread it all around the yard. If you hold on for a second, I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. All right, I've got that 15 pounds of uh, whole sardines spread around the yard. Again, I like to spread it around. It keeps one dog from being able to hoard it all. And I like to put out more than uh, food uh, than I have dogs uh, to prevent that also. Let's go. Again, these are whole frozen sardines. Uh, Ryuk, you see, will eat like a maniac. He's a rescue dog. When I got him, he was pretty underweight in that. And when we have a high value food like this, he likes to make sure he gets enough. <laughs> Badge eating some over there. K bar. Toki and Ukla. So I always say in my videos, I like to pet and handle my dogs when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. Now I always monitor in these pack feedings, uh, you know, who's eating how much food. You know, those dogs that uh, don't get as much as others will get more food later on. These sardines were a uh, gift from uh, subscriber Joker James. Again, uh, thanks a lot, James. That was really thoughtful of you. The dogs absolutely love them. I think they're Reeves' favorite fish. Again, uh, when you get a high value food item like this, he likes to make sure he's getting enough of it. Oh boy. So, girl, any badger telling me thank you? For those who will ask, yes, these fish have bones in them. You don't have to worry about fish bones with dogs or chicken bones or any kind of bones uh, as long as those bones are raw. It's uh, cooked bones that are dangerous and that's because cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone. It makes it hard, brittle, and indigestible and that in turn makes it prone to both uh, obstructions and perforations of the bowel. Raw bones won't do that. Again, you have mammals of all shapes and sizes uh, that eat uh, raw fish and uh, bird bones as a regular part of their diet uh, with absolutely no issue. You know, I always laugh at people who try to claim, well, you know, dogs have evolved where they can't eat this kind of stuff anymore. I mean, uh, commercial dog food's been around uh, about a hundred years or so. Before that, everybody's dogs ate raw. Evolution doesn't work on that quick a time scale. Uh, you know, people feeding their dogs uh, commercial food for a hundred years is not going to make dogs evolve so they can no longer tolerate raw food. Kurgan snatched up the last fish there. Ed just finished it up one. For those who will ask, uh, Lobo and Ulu are in the house eating some fish. Lobo's got a low, low food drive and in these settings would rather play with his ball, so that's why he's inside. Again, I do these pack feedings once or twice a week to teach my dogs to interact and be calm in a high stress situation with a high value food item around. 
that in turn kind of inoculates them from uh, overreacting when I have them around str uh, strange dogs uh, off leash like at the park and I have a lot of videos showing that that back up what I'm saying if uh, you're skeptical it's okay to be skeptical but again I, I have a lot of videos showing how balanced these guys can be in high stress situations around other dogs and uh, I attribute that uh, to uh, doing these pack feedings regularly with them. Again, it teaches them good communication skills. It teaches them not to overreact. And, uh, you know, if you follow this channel, I've got over 4,000 uh, videos showing uh, dog after dog being raised here, uh, you know, using some of my methods and uh, philosophies on uh, how to do that and you can see they all come out to be very well adjusted well balanced dogs in a variety of situations but don't take my word for that I'm just some guy on YouTube again uh, always be skeptical of anything you hear somebody saying online especially when it comes to things like nutrition training and all kinds of uh, topics like that there's a lot of people uh, online that are self-appointed uh, experts on topics they have no business uh, portraying themselves as uh, I'm not one of those people I'll tell you while doing this stuff uh, why I do it and uh, I do have over 35 years of experience working with dogs but uh, you know there's all different kinds of ways to train dogs and you know take anything I say with a grain of salt I'm not selling you anything I'm just sharing information. Well, that's it. Everybody ate their food. They enjoyed it a lot. <clears throat> Thank you, Joker James. Again, that was a very thoughtful gift. The dogs uh, really appreciated it. Uh, he gave us 24 pounds of uh, whole raw sardines. And uh, the dogs love them. Thanks, James. Bye from Ryuk. Ukla, Mr. Kurgan, Toki, and the badge, and K bar. That's all. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below. <laughs> Mm-hmm.